Gravity surveying measures the change of rock density by looking at changes in gravity. This technology is used mostly in the minerals, coal and oil and gas industry. Gravity surveying provides geophysicists, geologists and exploration managers with a picture of the subsurface geology of a surveyed area so they can see what's underground. Like all matter, the Earth generates a gravity field that can be measured using specific instrumentation. From our perspective, the Earth exerts a constant pull of gravity, which we experience as things either falling or being held to the ground. However, the force of gravity is not the same all over the world. It varies at different points on the Earth. Things like mountains, ocean trenches, tidal movements, even large buildings and structures can affect the Earth's local gravity field. These, as well as the composition of elements within the Earth's crust, all cause micro-variations in gravity all over the Earth. Geophysicists routinely measure these micro-variations using either ground-based or aerial instrument readings taken by a gravitometer. A gravitometer works by recording the downward acceleration of mass from the minute fluctuations of a finely balanced spring within the gravitometer. This device is known as an accelerometer. The accelerometers used in gravitometers are extremely sensitive to small fluctuations in gravity. For ground-based gravity imaging, a portable gravitometer, the size of a knee-high box, is placed on the ground at sequential points along a predetermined grid. The operator records a reading at each successive point and advances to the next point along the grid either by a utility vehicle or helicopter. Once there are enough readings recorded from the grid, the data is processed by special computer software to create a detailed map of the surveyed region. The process gravity maps define regions of rocks and minerals with differing densities by assigning colours along a colour ramp, where the red end of the spectrum indicates more dense rocks and the green end indicates lighter rocks. Interpretation of this data helps geologists and geophysicists gain an understanding of what mineral types and resources may be found in the surveyed area.